All right, good morning everybody. Another pretty slow day out there in the market today, but I did get two trades, including one that was one cent away from a top tick. So let's break it down in this video. Let's go, let's trade. Okay, so first trade of the day was here on PDD, and I'm watching it here as it pushes through 64. And I'm looking for a move up towards 64.50. I'm gonna need at least through 64.40 in order for me to get started here. So I'm watching it here as it pushes up into the 30s. Can it get up above 64.40 here? Looking to get it started if it gets above 64.40. There it's up and through. I click the button, I get the fill. 100 shares short at 64.40. Only 100 shares because it's PDD and I don't overly love trading PDD. So we're in and six, seven minutes goes by. It breaks out to new high. Market's making new highs and I'm just not really liking it anymore. So I'm like, all right, Whatever, I'm just going to kind of give up on this one. I'm going to put an order out here at 64.30. Not really looking to make this a winning trade, just looking to get out of it if I can and take a few cents in profit along the way. So I put out my order here at 64.30 on PDD, not really expecting to get filled immediately, but then it comes down and fills me immediately. So all out of PDD there for plus $10, which, you know, it ended up crashing from here but it could have easily just gone up and kept making new highs so i'm okay with how i played it overall just being a little careful with pdd there especially with how slow everything was to start the morning but later in the morning it's lvtx popping up here this is the big mover from yesterday made a huge move so i'm watching it it's getting a little spiky a little poppy here coming off of 440 it's up into the 460s 470 but i'm not going to look to start it unless we can get a push up towards five so i'm going to look for at least through 490 on a push up through uh, towards five just going to front run that five dollar hole number in case it can't get up through five and then of course if it pushes through five more than willing to add in as it goes through there looking at the chart looked like i was going to be more than okay on this one if it did so i'm watching it here waiting to see if the ask can get up into the 490s so sitting right here at 480 and there's a boom it pops up to 490 there can it get above 490 there it is i adjust my order just to get towards the top here put it out at 496 i get 11 share fill at first i don't know who of you out there is buying 11 shares waiting for that five dollar break but it does then pop up and give me the rest here 200 shares at 496 short on LVTX. I'm sorry to have had those 11 shares long. You didn't win. It starts coming back down almost immediately here, and I'm going to look for under 470 before I take a partial here. Looking to take half off if I can get down below 470 here and see if the rest can go a little bit further down from there. But you can see still alerting here even now on the scanner below me. So it's coming down and it's getting towards the 470s. It keeps getting just below 470. And at first I'm like, okay, maybe I can get a little bit lower than the 470 here. So I put my order out at 465, seeing if I can get that. But I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, that's just below VWAP. It came down, touched VWAP, and it didn't get below it here, at least on this move. So I'm thinking about what I want to do here and trying to figure out kind of my game plan a little bit on the fly, just in terms of where I want to put my orders out. So... You can see the volume also really shut down as well after it made the big move, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for what I want it to do, but it makes it tough just sitting here staring at it, watching it do nothing. So as it's failing to break down through the VWAP here around the 465 spot, which is where I had my order out, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and cancel that order out here and then just hit my market button to take half off there at 470. So out half there at 470, which is a, almost a 30 cent move on a $5 stock, ain't too bad, but still got 100 shares left in case it wants to get down a little bit further. And you can see here, I eventually put an order out at 451. This is another 10 minutes or so later, hoping that I could get a front run of that 450, that half dollar test on the way back down. But I was watching it here, it kept getting held up at 455, 456, and the volume was really, really getting low. I was like, man, this thing could just sit here or it could get, you know, one buy order could make this thing a little poppy. So I'm thinking about adjusting my order here and just maybe trying to take this one off. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this one up on my chart, which I can do with light speed. I adjust the order 457 and I get the fill immediately there at 457. So all out LVTX for a $65 win. Not too bad on a $5 stock with only 200 shares and really, really like that chart. One cent away there from a top tick. The high was 497. I was short there. There's 200 shares at 497. 
So that's going to do it for me today. I am off to the gym again today. Hit a new low on the scale this morning, but I don't update the ticker down below until I've maintained that weight for several days. So looking forward to doing that on the verge of breaking 190. Would love to be breaking that on the positive side for these winning days, but while the market is slow here towards the end of September, I'll take what I can get and move on. Definitely not going to be trading in the afternoon like I did yesterday. That was mostly because I was really awake after drinking all my pre-workout and going to the gym. Maybe I'll be really awake again, but since I've traded today, I definitely won't be back. I hopefully, I hopefully hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Absolutely free for you. It means a lot for me. I appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.